hi viewers in this video i will explain how to design an application using dot h5 model file in the previous video i have explained how to generate this dot h5 model file by you in google collab platform now i'll show you how to design one application by using anaconda prompt for that first you need to install anaconda prompt in your laptop and after that create your own environment with your name and after that by using this command you can activate your environment and after that in your environment try to install these all required packages in future you can use the socket xp to host your application now here in my laptop i'm already installed anaconda prompt here try to run this anaconda prompt in the admin mode admin level and initially it is in the base environment try to activate your environment here my environment name is dln i'm activating my environment here now i switch from base to the dln and here uh, you need to install these pip install tensorflow copy paste here now i'm already installed these all it will take some time I hope you know how to install these all required libraries and you need to install these all libraries to run this application without any errors and once if you are able to open this anaconda prompt next here on the desktop here I kept the required documents or required files in python underscore files folder here uh, to design the application by using this model file with the dot h5 extension this model file i generated by using inception neural networks and in google collab platform in previous video i have already shown this one now in templates you need to keep all the required html files related to your application and in upload folder here actually this face recognition application is designed for three persons one is abdul kalam second one is the dhoni third one is the rdj i'll show you how this model how to design one face recognition application by using this model and here in app.py file once we'll see what the code inside this app.py file now here also we need to import the, all the required libraries and after that here i am using the flask to connect the model and this application i am using the flask and after that i am going to call the model file model inception.h5 and after that we need to load that model file next it is the input image for classification and here we have the three classes one is the abdul kalam second one is the dhoni third one is the rdj this face recognition is for the three classes now copy this location here copy and come back to the anaconda prompt now this complete folder you can download from the description
you want to copy this link and paste now we are in this folder python underscore file python underscore file here i am going to run this app dot py file python app dot py directly run it will take some time minimum it will take the one or two minutes complete folder is available you can download from the google drive link i am providing in the video description box you can download from there now here is going to create one IP address by using that we are going to host locally we are going to host the application First time I am running this one, that's why it is taking some time. it is the IP copy this link you can copy this and come back to your browser and here you can paste here wait until your local server is ready a debugger is active and debugger pin and here it will show you whether your local server is active or not so your application is ready to host or not Here you can see now your application is ready and after that you can choose one file one image here python file supports here first i am verifying with the abdul kalam image and input is the Abdul Kalam image 
I am asking for prediction. See how the model works. Yes, it is predicted correctly. The person name is Abdul Kalam. Next, I am going to upload the one more image. Now, next, I will check with the RDJ. Yes. Now the model is working with 100% accuracy. I hope this video will help you to deploy your model file dot H5 file in the real time applications. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.